Hmm. It's really confusing to have all these abilities. And then they keep changing. Because, you know, I keep changing them. Somehow it's really messing with me. <laughs> So basically, it's kind of stunning them if I just keep using right this. If I'm just, faster for a change. yeah, if I'm just keep using it, it kind of stuns them because they keep getting pulled closer. I'm not totally sure that is the exact deal with them or what is supposed to happen, but if it works, I'm happy with it. Apparently I missed something. Ah, uh, probably the, yeah, the Olmark. Uh, very few are so well cut out for professional athletics as Olmark, who famously corrected reporters anytime they addressed him using honorifics. As a rookie playing for the High Rise Hammers, Olmark was a second string quarterfielder until a chance injury put the team star out of commission, giving Olmark his chance to shine. Any skepticism surrounding his qualifications quickly dissolved as he proceeded to lead the Hammers to a crushing 17-2 season. But the following season proved an even greater surprise. Okay, so also we have Breach available now, technically. But it would also cost quite some. So what if we actually... With that, uh, I'm not so sure. Do we want to put reach on Y? Uh, I think we want to put call on B. Just high damage attack should be on B. And we make the. Do we want to make the damage bigger? Attack speed, nah, not really that interested in that. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what happens if we do this? We give it a blast radius and even more damage. I kind of like that idea. Then can we improve it even more? Attack speed increase, or should we give it get? Upward impact removed. Spawned spawn cells remain in place. That doesn't sound absolutely fantastic, so... What if we... Chaotic Blast 4, Blast Damage 100. Call and Spark sound interesting. How about we put get on Y and then add target penetration with breach. So now it's fast. It is fast and it penetrates targets. Oh, <laughs> that seems powerful. We should be using that. And we have crash to stun normal enemies. Which we can use in between turns. I kind of am liking the idea of this setup. Let's see how it works out, actually. They've come forward. To the people of Cloudbank. We did this. We, the Camerata, are responsible for inexcusable crimes committed against this city and her citizens. This is a formal admission of guilt. I solemnly swear everything written here is true. Know that I am responsible for these heinous acts perpetrated against the city of Cloudbank. My accomplices are Sybil Rise, Royce Brackett, and Grant Kendrew. We alone are to blame. Perhaps our worst sin is you will get no justice. For now, we all share the same sentence. Do we want... What have they done? Interesting. Would not have expected that. But I'm sure we're gonna meet the guy soon. Round and round. Backstage access. Not now. 
so a young lady three it's a kind of a shitty position to be in Whoa, 742 with backstab from unmask get in They actually can take a hit. I was thinking they can't do anything, you know? But no, they will actually survive. And a big boom. Okay, something is still there. Probably on this side, some weeds. Let's just blast that like that. So, get seems okay. I'm not 100% sure on it though, it's fast fire. I think I might like ping more. But I'm not sure. Because theoretically, if you use ping, or if you, yeah, use... Uh, get first, you draw it close and then you can crash in your turn. Or that's a potential idea of it. Which I do kind of like. Hmm. Maybe we should put Breach as a passive for now. And let's remove Crash or Jaunt. From there and put it into there. So we can now use get in between turns to draw enemies close. Wait, no, that doesn't actually sound like that great of an idea. Uh, I th uh, Maybe I just want to use base damage 15, shots per second 4. What are you? I'm sorry, maximum damage 150? Yeah, because it's yeah, it does more damage at range. Up close, it does basically nothing. Um, what happens if we stronger versus distance targets? Yeah, I'm just thinking maybe it's good to have that on crash because crash should te theoretically stun them. Hmm. Why is it so tricky to keep thinking of <laughs> good setup? <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of overthinking it. Uh, so I can just use that in between turns, and that's it. So I've crashed, and I can use ping in between turns. Because that is just really nice for some enemies. Like the little bad guys. Knew it. Uh firewall. Should be another one just like this, other side of the tower. Bracket tower screwed up access is currently closed. Contact unauthorized. 
Yeah, he needs. Ready for more? No jumping in the lift, okay? So we need another firewall terminal. <laughs> sure, we can do that. All right, let's check across the hall. Yes, the back door. Yeah, see that firewall there is actually what you're sp probably supposed to do, but you know. Asher can wait. Here we are at the beach, and all I can think about is Grant's sneering face. Once we get to him, what are you gonna do with him? You made up your mind? I have. <sighs> okay, let's see about some of these rooms. Did the top one actually open? No, not yet. Not yet. Um, speed test. Here we go again. Let's see if we can do these in any sort of decent time. I'm kind of guessing not. Time to race the clock. What are these abilities? Okay. That seems new. So they're voided. Void plus over three seconds. what this kind of does. So you can get one purge in. Avoid weakens. Plus void over three seconds. So will this will that one just survive with that amount? It should. It's kind of weird to use damage over time spells in this, but... Especially if you're supposed to kill him as fast. Seems a little bit ridiculous. Guess what? I'm not gonna make this. I think I'm pretty much even just gonna die. Does it also slow them? It seems to. Well, actually, it is kind of doable as long as you keep them ticking. No. That was it. Strangely does seem doable, so let's give it one more chance. But it's not my favorite, kind of. 